A win today for LGBTQ youth. Governor Tim Wall signed an executive order restricting so-called conversion therapy, a widely discredited practice aiming to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. Minnesota joins 24 other states that have either banned or restricted the practice. As Caroline Cummings explains, the move comes after the legislature failed to outlaw it. We want you to be whoever you are. LGBTQ advocates cheer Governor Tim Walz's move moved to restrict so-called conversion therapy for minors with the stroke of his pen on Thursday. He called the executive order a first step to protecting young people in the community from the practice, which groups representing licensed medical doctors and mental health care professionals dismiss as baseless and harmful. I've seen escalating suicide rates. I've seen increasing self-harm practices. And I have seen lasting psychological harm to both kids and their families. Walls' directive prohibits the Minnesota Department of Human Services from paying for conversion therapy services through Minnesota health care programs like Medicaid. It requires health care companies to attest that they don't cover the practice and prevent state reimbursement. It also directs the Minnesota Department of Health to compile a report on the public health impacts of conversion therapy. It doesn't outright ban the practice, but it orders state agencies to act within their authority. To ensure that no minor Minnesotan, anyone under 18, or vulnerable Minnesotans is subjected to this Byzantine torturous practice of conversion therapy. The legislature tried to ban it in 2019, but it failed in the GOP-led Senate. Executive orders can be easily reversed under a new administration, so advocates, the governor and DFL lawmakers are still pressing for more permanent action at the Capitol. This executive order will accomplish much to putting a stop to it here. However, executive orders are by their nature temporary. The legislature is not off the hook. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota Family Council, a Christian group, called the order a, quote, direct attack on individual choice in health care.